Hi everyone, it is the 23rd of February, uh, the staff are out on an inset day today, uh, lots of good stuff going on, lots of great sessions that I've already seen. Um, this is an update of everything that's gone on this week. It was certainly a busy old half term with lots of trips going out, um, there was a ski trip um, that we shared with Maiden Early Reading and Maiden Early Chilton Esh, it was great to see all of the trust schools come together. Three coach loads full of our students went down to Italy and um, it's been an absolute superb trip, I was keeping up to date on social media and following what they were doing. They got very lucky with the snow. It was a bit it was a bit uh, touch and go just before they went, but certainly lots of smiles as you can see in all the photos. The staff absolutely loved it. Um, and we're already planning for next year. Um, the deadline to apply is Sunday the 3rd of March. There is a letter out already for the ski trip 2025. I'm sure I never had these trips when I was at school. The other trip that went was the Year 12 students. There was 20 of them who embarked on a fantastic adventure to New York City, the Big Apple. Um, they visited many of the sites. They looked at the Grand Central Station, Ellis Island, Central Park, and many, many more. And if you have a look at the X page, uh, that was Twitter, as it was formerly known as, um, there's lots more pictures on there. Absolutely superb event for all of our students. I know they thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you to all the staff on both the ski trip and the New York trip who made it happen. Organising these types of events are huge. Um, lots of paperwork, lots of risk assessments, lots of finances, above and beyond the day job. They don't just get a free trip to New York or a free trip to skiing. They are putting a huge amount of work, so thank you. And thank you to all the students who went on it. I believe they were all immaculately behaved. Early indications from the prelims and the year 10 PPEs suggest that they have gone very, very well. The prelim results are already out and the results I've seen are superb. And um, the year 10 PPEs, I'm starting to see the glimmers of them and they are brilliant as well. A huge well done to all of the students who have gone above and beyond in terms of their revision and getting ready for these exams. Um, we don't do these exams just to put them through their paces, I suppose. The idea of this is that it's a real formative approach. So once students have finished them, we spend weeks going through the papers, making sure they know where the mistakes were, making sure they know where they did really, really well, and trying to make those marginal gains, which show in the outcomes for the students further down the line. Thank you to all the staff who've marked it, but more importantly, the students, absolutely superb, and I hope the parents of year 13 and year 10 can breathe a small sigh of relief ahead of any exams they've got in the summer, rather than pushing them all the time. So thank you to all the parents for the support as well. The next few months could be at best interesting, I would say, Betchworth Road, which is the road that leads down to Silverdale Road. You can see it on the map there. The red uh, dashes are where they are closing the road. They're closing it from the 4th of March to the 15th of May. I'm not going to say this may cause, it does say it on the slide, this will cause significant disruption to the school. Um, you can see the diversion route is all the way down through Woking Road, Kenton Road, and then onto Silver Road, Silverdale Road from there. Um, Obviously, we know weather's wet, but we do need to encourage students to walk or cycle to school. And we ask that you do not drive to school unless absolutely necessarily the staff are obviously having to battle through that. Um, some staff's contracts don't start until half past eight. So they need to get in and the less traffic that's on the road in the run up to there will help us start the school day um, really, really smoothly. It's a busy junction anyway. So please do take note of that. Those students that are coming on public transport clearly need to plan their, their, their journey. Uh, and set off a little bit earlier. You know, we we accept that some students may be late occasionally, but they need to plan ahead. You know, it's part of part of growing up, I suppose. Um, so I don't expect this to be an excuse further down the line for any lateness. Um, it's running from the 4th of March to the 15th of May, so quite a significant period that, that whilst Easter's in the middle, the other thing that 11, 13 and year 10 students need to bear in mind is that the exams are on from the start of May. So um, again, the exam board won't give any special dispensation for lateness, so the students need to make sure they are in and school on time for their exams. As expected, our students have shone again in their sporting aptitude. Three of our brilliant students have been selected to represent Berkshire in the English Schools National Cross Country Championship uh, in West Yorkshire. The wrong side of the Pennines, but we won't go into that too much uh, in March. Huge congratulations to Georgie, Zoe and Brendan. So that's year 11, 12 and 13. That follows two successful rounds in the County Championships and then the South West Championships. Um, it's really been a while since we've had any student get to this stage. So to have three in one year is, is absolutely superb. Well done to the students. Bit of a cold snap coming in, wrap up warm, have a fantastic weekend, stay safe and I look forward to seeing the students again on Monday.